If you are new to Xeros, make sure you talk to the referral teacher at home and type the referral code SOHAN and you'll actually get yourself a free YouTube mystery box along with a bunch of cash, XP lamps and starter supplies that will really help you get started out so definitely make sure you do that. But apart from that, the first comment on today's video will win themselves an ultra mystery box so congrats have won that for the main prize. I'm going to weigh a $50 payment score worth around 500 mil. So if you want to be entered for that, just leave a like on today's video, be subscribed to my channel with notifications on and coming in game name on Xeros and that's pretty much all you have to do to be entered so go on the giveaway and I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Alright, so I've been camping the Revenants inside of the Legendary Zone Cave in order to try and get some Parazda and Serin's Keys because they do drop them at fairly right chance and I just got a Thamarin Scepter which is the most useless out of all of them. I mean, either way I don't think I'll be using the PvP weapons for anything really since I won't be stepping foot inside the Wilderness but still, that's probably the worst one to get. Yeah, so far we have had two Parazda's Key. I've won in the bank so far. We haven't had a single PKP drop which is pretty unfortunate so hopefully we can get some and who knows, there's a very small chance we could get some PvP weapons weapons from these keys as well so hoping for that this is like the only safe way we can actually get them but yeah our first drop that runs sensor i guess finally dude my first pkp drop how much is this oh my god 200 pkp dude just from one drop we have like 130 like kc at each of these so that was actually 400 kills and we finally got our first pkp drop so so far all we've had in total two of these bresda keys a thamron scepter and that 200 pkp drop finally man oh that's our first seren's key actually so we got one of these and two prezes now nice all right another pkp ticket Get drop how much this is gonna be oh 182 that is nice nice another prizes key all right you got three of them now so with only four minutes left to double drops as well that's awesome All right, so we killed like 150 of the revenants each. There's 151 demons, 156 orcs, and I don't think the other ones are on here for some reason, but there's definitely another one that we also had roughly 150 of. So that was all done in exactly one hour, by the way. So we killed roughly 450 in the space of an hour while an Iazel was planted. So double drops were activated. And in that time, we got three Perez Dickies, one Serenski, and almost 400 PKP, along with a Thamarin Scepter as well. So we already had 945 PKP, so currently have 1,300. And we already have like 278, so right now we have around 1600 pkp we're only 600 off actually being able to buy the bludgeon although this is a little bit inefficient to be fair i could have just farmed crystals later during that answer and get crystalline keys since i still need the corrupted helm as you can see i'm wearing the uh, the regular crystal helm right now looking like a bit of a pleb so it was kind of a waste but i just wanted to switch up the content a little bit since i've never actually really camped revenants before and i wanted to see if like how good they'd be and yeah four keys not bad if i actually get a pvp armor piece dude can you even imagine i mean let's test our luck i guess we're gonna use chest rate bonuses with with this as well. Let's begin, dude. We actually get PvP piece. Dragon plate skirt, yikes. Small orange bone, dude. Oh my god. All right, 35 keys, and we got like what? Some PKP. So I think we're only 500 off now. All right, yeah, just cash in all of my PKP. We're currently 1720, so 500 off the bludgeon. We're very close. All right, so I forgot to record this because I was in the wilderness, but we pretty much got a rune pouch and our looting bag from killing chaos Rose and thugs in Edgel Dungeon. If you guys didn't know, you can actually climb down this trapdoor right here to actually access Edgel Dungeon. It actually took me a little bit to fighting that but yeah that's where you go by the way if you guys are confused and they're in level one wilderness and i wasn't streaming so very very low chance of me dying in level one world even if i get tb that could just run out but fortunately there were no pks or anything it took me like 50 kills of the chaos droids and thugs i believe to get both of these i think i got the looting bag like five kills in or something rude purge is around like 100 ish kills but they all have like 20 hp so it was actually very very quick and i definitely recommend getting your rune purge by doing that rather than like buying one in the boss shop for like 2500 boss points or the pk shop as they're both way too expensive and it's very easy to get so any monster in the wilderness drops either of these items by the way so yeah personally i just kill the ones in the edgeful dungeon though so yeah free pouch unlocked which is very nice all right we have six keys that was not a single seed from this whole history so uh it's not looking very promising oh overloads not bad nothing dude I and mean, we got some torso seeds that's not bad all right 34 hunt left keys man we've completed i think 251 hunt left kills We've done almost 400 crystals for our task, man. I don't want to go back. Just give me this corrupted helm so I can leave, dude. Please. All right, let's begin. Come on. Dragon stones. A weapon mage's pick. Another thing would be nice would be PKP as well. We are only 480 PKP off our bludgeon, so... Oh, regular crystal body. So if we actually did get, like, any PKP drops, that would be very nice as well. All right, that's some PKP. That's not bad. Come on, dude. All right, one in Vidos. Please. <laughs> give me the helm, bro. Please. No. <laughs> 
Every time I say give me the helmet, it gives you the regular one. I swear to god, it's so annoying. Holy shit. Alright, first 10 keys with nothing. We did get a lot of PKP though, holy shit. 105, not bad. Please give me the corrupted version of the helmet, not the regular one. Alright, boom. Bro, god damn it. Dude, stop giving me the regular ones, please. Okay, more PKP. <sighs> okay, we've had like the full regular set like five times over now. Another whip. Oh man, don't do this to me. Two dragon plate skirts. Another leg. <laughs> Dude, where is my helm? Are you kidding me? I've got 10 keys left. I haven't even had a single corrupted piece. Oh my god, dude. Alright, 9 keys left, dude. I'm actually gonna be officially 250 dry if I don't get it. Fuck me. Oh no. Dude. <laughs> please, dude. Let me out. Oh my god, no. We only have 4 left, bro, please. Please! We haven't even had a single corrupted piece. We have 3 keys left. Oh my god. Not like this. Bro, we have 1 left. Bro, how are we this unlucky, man? Like, actually, this is so dumb, bro. This is so dumb. Holy shit. All right, so even though we didn't get anything from this keys, we have actually hit 540k FOE, which means we can go for a rock upgrade. This is literally worth 500k. So if we fail this, we essentially lose 500k. If we actually manage to upgrade this, man, it goes from a 10% drop boost to a 20% drop boost, which will make our future grind so much easier. We only have one shot of this, though. I'm not going for the second one if I tell this one so please man like i went nine drive for my shadow watch about i know i got the wire in my first one but spoon me again dude please spoon me again one in five charge dude i believe in the odds please get out my first one come on dude please all right let's go oh my god no way no way we actually got it we actually got it holy shit no way oh my god that's so good dude Bro, no way! Oh my god, man. We actually got that our first one. What the fuck? Oh my god, that looks so sick as well. Holy fuck. <laughs> On the first one. Are you kidding me, dude? Rogue so had us just received a dark rock. Holy shit, man. No way. So now I'm only 960k from a Kraus. That's our next one, dude. Nothing left to get apart from the Kraus. Holy shit, man. Oh, and some hardcore just died to sip. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, for being 250 dry of a corrupted helm, I think I deserve this, man. 137 PKP, just lying on the ground. All right, we are officially, like, 60 PKP, I think. Wait, we need 240, right? So, yeah, we need 100 more, dude. So, one more drop of these, and we're pretty much done. We can get a bludgeon. we be about to get 75 runecrafting. There we go. All right, almost phase 75 stats, and uh, we just runecrafted, like, almost 4k nature runes, which should last us for a while. That's a lot of Alex right there. All right, nice. We just got 99 smithing. So that's another huge 99 on the account. That took a long time. Still have like a lot of rune bars and a shit ton more rune ores in the bank. How many dart tips are I making? We have 54k rune dart tips and another 53k just rune darts themselves. So we've probably made like over a 150k of these, I'd imagine, because we've already, we've already like used a ton as well. So 99 smithing is a very nice 99 to get out of the way though. It is sadly like the only AFK one we have left though, apart from like mine, I guess, which is slightly AFK, but it still takes some kind of effort. But yeah, 99 smithing out of the way. Nice. Alright, so I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't tried out Xerus already, it is by far one of the biggest, if not the biggest, OSR server to play right now. It's currently like 2 p.m. on a Wednesday, and there's still over 350 players online. I was actually online last Sunday, and they actually hit 600 online, and right now they're rank 2 on Rune Locus as well. So the server is doing insane. If you haven't checked out already, the link is in the description below. I 100% recommend checking it out. I think I did a nine hour stream yesterday from how much I was enjoying the service, so definitely make sure to check it out. And like I said, don't miss out on that 50 score giveaway and use my referral code if you are new to the server. But apart from that, hope you guys enjoyed and it's now time to pick the game results. So good luck to everyone.